Another cool feature in the synchronization editor is, is since a long time, the verification project button. You can see them here. And the, and the verification project button verifies your project as it is easily to see here. And if there are problems in the synchronization project, however they look like. This is old technology. We have that since the synchronization editor exists, but you might see here on the screen that it is much more detailed than you might remember it from the past. And this is because these consistency checks was enhanced in a way of that more of them was added. As you know, consistency checks cannot be customized. So this is something R&D, it's just developing, but they increase the amount and as well the detailed depth of these consistency checks. And, and this is important as well, activating a synchronization project, these consistency checks get automatically performed so that at the end, each project before it's stored, it's then checked. Another feature is as well implemented. You cannot see that here in this specific consistency check, but in the screenshot you will now see on the screen. And this is, it is now possible to implement solution suggestions for specific problems into that specific check. What's behind that? Behind that is that R&D sometimes know about possible problems and they just implement now suggestions how to solve these problems if such a problem appears in a consistency check. The functionality to have the capability to display solutions or to display possible solutions, it's something pretty new in the Identity Manager, but it is not only just implemented in the synchronization editor, it is implemented into the base engine, so it could be used there, and th but in all other places in the Identity Manager where we display logs, you can now find such suggestions as well. The system suggestions are not customizable. They are just implemented from R&D, but it is possible if you create, for example, your own code to use uh, the VI error component, which is the API component to send error messages, to implement your own solution suggestions for error messages the developer expected. Let's talk about synchronization editor enhancements. And we will start with the synchronization editor enhancements in Object Browser. As you can see, there is the table DPR template and the table DPR template typically contains all the synchronization templates we use in the different synchronization connectors for different targets. A lot of fancy smaller changes was made in the synchronization editor and a set of these small changes was to correct the sort order of many things. In many places, there was just an unsorted list displayed, for example, from columns or properties or something else, and uh, the developers was just organizing these. More or less, as an example, I like to show you now DPR template. Even the templates are now in a correct order displayed. You can easily see sort order, which is here a new field in DPR template. The reason for that was easy to understand. If you look at the screen, you can see here in the list a couple of SAP templates. And these SAP templates in the past was displayed in a random order. And that order was absolutely not displaying the order how you connect SAP systems to the identity manager. Now with that specific sort order field, it is now possible to order these entries. And for SAP, it is now done in a way like a customer expected. A pretty new feature is as well a feature you can directly find in a synchronization project implemented to the connector to the One Identity Manager database, which is this connector here. And if you look now to the right, you will see there's a small new shape and that says data store. The data store, it's something which in Identity Manager stores all unresolved references. So that means if during synchronization, a reference cannot be found or it's somewhere often or missing, then this will be stored in the data store. And if you look into the data store, you can see more or less here three entries. You can see in my Active Directory synchronization project, there are some problems with unsolved references of ADS groups and memberships. So there is something not going correct. 
And you can as well see that there is one entry at the top and that says outside of the known schema. And this specific thing here says in my data store, there are seven unsolved reference problems at all outside of the Active Directory Sync project. That means to solve this, I have to open some other synchronization projects. And you can see that additionally to these seven outside the synchronization project exists four problems with ADS group memberships. And this is what I can solve or try to solve here. Therefore, I can just hit here on the perform maintenance button and can just let the, the synchronization engine solve these problems. And a little bit later, once uh, all the steps are performed, then hopefully they are gone. One thing to know, data store in performing the maintenance of the data store it's only possible if in the synchronization editor as you can see here on the settings tab i'm in the expert mode some minor enhancements and let's start with an increased simulation of the one identity measure synchronization editor as we remember in the identity manager we have a simulation mode we have as well simulation in the synchronization editor and, and as always simulation is often not 100% the same than like doing the synchronization this is as well the case in 8.1 of the identity manager but in the synchronization editor for the simulation, we included now a feature that allows in the report to see modified properties. And this was something customer was asking for. It is now part of the story. In the same way, then we have enhanced as well the error messages during the load of a specific synchronization project. This was something as well people was asking for and it's now implemented, especially because the one or the other customer had problems to understand the error messages that was appearing during the load action of such a synchronization project. Pretty funny from my personal perspective is that in the identity manager, beside the circle of death, we have now as well a window, a pop-up window that came up if there is a long running task so that people can see that the system is still working. Last but not least, and this is important here on the slide as well, we upgraded the compiler to the Roslyn compiler. That means the .NET compiler. And this affects any script in the synchronization editor we implement as well and allows us at the end to use features up to Visual Basic 15.5 or C Sharp 7.3. Why is this important? All of these language updates always comes with some feature updates and some developers like to use these features and if they want to do so, they know now Roslyn compiler is supported. And that means you can use these features as well in the synchronization editor. Some small notes. The first of them is we deleted from uns root an obsolete column is member of enabled. This specific column is a column that tells the system for a specific target system that on the user accounts of this target system, we can have multi-value properties just to store membership of groups. In uns root, which is the table above and which is at the end containing all target systems, that property makes no sense. And so we deleted it from UNS root. That means at the end in UNS root, this property is not available anymore, but in UNS root B, which is responsible for a specific target system, this property remains. That makes a lot of sense from my perspective because nobody was needing that property on UNS root. We had another obsolete table, TBS V group table. It was just a view table. That means something to help displaying some data stuff. This was however else replaced and not necessary anymore. And because of that, that table was dropped. Last but not least, the automated cleanup of the revision store. As we can remember, old, old revisions of synchronization project get stored in DPR revision store. And um, this is collecting a lot of data during the lifetime of such synchronization projects. And the good message was that with version 8.1 for all schema types, which are not longer part of a synchronization project, these entries get moved out of the specific table to slim down the size of that specific table, which is always a good idea from my perspective.